Nervous Tissue Objective To learn about the nervous tissue and its functions. If a person unknowingly touches a hot object like a kettle, she immediately pulls back her hand. Why does she do this? This happens as the receptors present in the fingers sense the heat from the kettle. The sensory nerves in the fingers absorb this impulse and transmit it to the spinal cord. From the spinal cord, this impulse passes to the motor neuron, which in turn passes this impulse to the affected muscle in the finger and the person immediately removes her hand from the kettle. This whole process involves coordination among the nerve cells called neurons. These neurons are found inside the spinal cord and the brain. Now let's learn about neurons. A neuron consists of a cell body called soma. The soma is enclosed by the cell membrane and has a nucleus. There are several thin, thread-like extensions from the cell body called dendrites. The dendrites receive impulses from the adjoining neurons. The other extension from the cell body or soma is a single branched extension called an axon. Each axon is comprised of a cone-shaped base called an axon hillock that arises from the soma. At the other end, the axon is divided into many branches from where the signal passing through the axon is transmitted to the other cell via a junction called a synapse. Thus, the information is received by the dendrites and is then sent out through the axon to the neighboring cell. This is how information is transmitted from one cell to another. To summarize, if we unknowingly touch a hot object, we immediately pull our hand away from it. This process involves coordination among the nerve cells called neurons. A neuron consists of a cell body called soma. There are several thin thread-like extensions from the cell body called dendrites. The other extension from the cell body or soma is a single branched extension called an axon.